New Live at Five, it's a story about a local archer from Hartzell who has become sort of a legend. And he was just recently inducted into the Archery Hall of Fame in Springfield, Missouri. He certainly knows how to make shooting a bow and arrow look cool. Our Jake Stanzo in studio now to share his story. That's right. You could say he's the modern day Robin Hood. Byron Ferguson once shot eight dimes in a row out of thin air, and that's not even the tip of the absurd amount of tricks he's done with the bow and arrow. He's from right here in Alabama, and his skills have taken him all over the world from Japan, France, Italy, and even South America. What started as a skill for hunting white tailed deer led to a much bigger target. Don't get no better than that. People thank me for what I've done for the sport, but I've gotten way more out of the sport than I've ever done for the sport. Humble with extraordinary skills that make the sport <laughs> seem almost impossible. I mean, I, I'm just having fun. You know? Just like that. From once hunting white-tailed deer and putting out flames of a candle to now doing things sort of like this. Never under any circumstance let someone else try to impose their limitations on you. People say, oh, you can't do that. That's impossible. Well, I try and yeah, I can do it. Even a shot that's deemed as the hardest shot in archery. That is the hardest shot there is to do with bow and arrow. Maybe uh, a little luck, shot, but there's no denying uh, there that Byron is one of the top it's exhibition easy. shooters oh, of all time. One day, Byron was helping a friend with his targets. He was noticed and then became Mr. Worldwide. And he said, well, that's a friend of mine. That's Byron. He said, well, how do I get in touch with him? So next thing I know, I'm on my way to Paris, France to do a show at the Chambord Castle just outside of Paris, the French game fair. When I got home from Paris, there was a, a, a message on my answering machine from a lady in Tokyo, Japan, want me to come over there. With Byron, any shots is possible. Something that a boy from Alabama, a country boy, to travel the world shooting a bow and arrow. Who would ever thought it? Byron told me he doesn't do a whole lot of exhibitions as much anymore. He's learned to say no as he's gotten older. He's still active in the archery world, even designing his own bows. In studio, Jake Stansel, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.